Hello fellow Unreal Engine developers. Last week I showed you how to create this effect of sand blowing across the desert floor and today I'm going to show you how to mask it so it only appears in certain areas of the landscape. And I'll also show you how to mix materials together so sand blows over multiple materials. Let's get straight into it. Last week I created this carpet of sand blowing in the wind and I mentioned towards the end of the video that it would be pretty easy to mask this sand so it appeared only in certain locations of the landscape but I thought it'd be worth doing this follow-on video just to show you how to do it because uh, there are a couple of things that might catch you out uh, and I wanted to just draw your attention to them. So we're starting off from uh, the last tutorial so I will just put a link to that in the description so you can get to this point and let's start by looking at the material we've created and then we'll add in a mask feature. So first thing we need to do is to go to our landscape, find the material here which is my bright desert sand. Let's open that up I'm going to drag this out and put it in its own window and move it off to the side of the screen a bit so we can adjust parameters. So we, we added this um, section here on desert wind with the wind blend and the color and, and direction. Uh, we need to adjust the master material in order to add this masking layer. So go to the toolbar at the top of here, use the expanding arrows if it's short like this, hierarchy and select the MS surface material. So this is where we got to last week. Uh, this is our desert sand, this is our desert wind and we blended them together. In order to paint it on certain areas of the landscape we need to use a landscape layer and then we can just paint where it appears. So the, it's actually pretty straightforward to do, but as I said, there, there's a couple of things that might catch you out. So what we need to do is here, where we um, blend the materials together, we want to add another node uh, called layer blend, sorry, layer sample, and you'll get this landscape layer sample here. Now, we haven't created this layer yet, but this is where we'll paint our mask and give it a name. Um, I'm going to call it blowing sand and we'll still have our wind blend parameter dictating how um, strong we want the uh, carpet of, of sand to blend into the desert but now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by this mask so wherever the mask is zero we won't get any sand at all and wherever it's one we'll get the blend factor we want. So just come out of here do a multiply multiply them together and plug this into the alpha and in fact let's just move this around a bit so let's move it over there and let's move this underneath so that it's uh, there's no crossing wires. All right so now we've got this sample um, we need to paint on this sample and this is the first gotcha so if you click save and let the uh, shader compile Go back to your desert level, go into the select mode of landscape and if you go to paint you would expect to see here a blowing sand layer to paint on but it hasn't created one and we can't add one manually here. The, um, the way these layers are created is when you use a layer blend a node in the landscape it creates them. So what we need to do is we need to just temporarily uh, use the layer blend node to create our layer mask. The good thing is that once it's created, even if we delete that layer in the layer blend, it'll still st stick around. Uh, if all that sounds confusing, let me just show you and that, that'll make it uh, much clearer, hopefully. So what we want to do is we want to create a layer blend node. So just in some clear space here, do layer blend. Sorry, blend, not bland. And we want to find... In fact, maybe landscape, if you want to type it, landscape, landscape layer blend. That's what you want to pick. 
and this is where you add the layers that you want to paint on so we're going to have two layers so click on this twice and in the first one we'll call this desert sand so this is our um, main material layer and we want to make sure it's weight blend I'll, I'll explain this later on when we'll, we'll do a, a another material later on and we'll uh, blend them together before we add the sand so that's a, a weight blend layer and then the second one give it the same name as this sample you used so blowing sand in my case and this wants to be not a weight blend but an alpha blend um, and the difference is that an alpha blend uh, is something that you typically overlay on top of a material a weight blend is where you're mixing materials together and when you reduce one material the other one increases um, so that the, the whole uh, creates a value of one so we've got the, our two layers now now without even doing anything here just save the um, the material go back to your desert and you see now we have two layers blowing sand and desert sand you can reorder them if you want I'll have desert sand at the top but we now have our blowing sand layer to paint onto and the interesting thing is now if you go back to your material we can actually delete this blowing sand layer and if we go if we save it and we go back to the desert it's still here in our layers so we can still paint on it for the sample but we don't need it in the layer blend so a bit of an oddity and this is why I wanted to show you this um, but that's how we're creating our layers to de desert sand and blowing sand okay let's finish this off now so what we'll do is we'll um, we don't need to plug into this but I'm going to show you how to create um, more than one material with the sand layered on top so let's plug this into the layer blend even though there's nothing to blend at the moment and then plug the output into channel A and now um, we've got a mask that we can paint on let's save this and go to our desert and the first thing you'll notice is it's gone black and this is perfectly normal because we haven't yet assigned uh, the layers here to a, um, a texture so click on the first one desert sand and make it a weight blended layer it'll put it by default in this um, shared assets folder you can choose somewhere else if you want but I'll save it in the default location and and you'll see now that um, desert landscape appears and in the blowing sand layer add it as a non weight blended layer and again it's putting it in the default location right so now we see now we see our desert let's um come up a bit so at the moment there's no blowing sand on it and that's because our blowing sand mask we haven't actually painted anything on there yet so what we could do is we could make it um it's up to you really what you do if you make the brush fall off one it feathers the edge a bit more um so if we make sure you select the layer blowing sand and then start painting it'll go a bit um dark start off with and then you'll start to see the blowing sand appears here you can um, increase the size of the brush if you use the square bracket once you've started painting uh, you can go up and the left square bracket goes down and we can paint a bit more so let's just paint this sort of valley and can you see that now that multiply of that mask is now working on our desert sand and painting in the desert sand just in this valley so it's exactly the effect we want and if we come out of landscape mode and you can see that there's no sand over here and then there is sand blowing in this valley where we've masked it and if you want to get rid of the sand in any area uh, go back into landscape mode have your paint layer and with the brush selected if you press shift and paint it erases so you can remove some of the um, sand as well so you can just have it in certain areas okay so I'll paint a bit more back on here go back to select mode go into play and you'll see there's no wind around here but if I run up 
to the next valley, there I see my sand just in that mast area. So that's the basics of creating it. What if I want to create another material and have the sand blowing over um, both of those materials? Well, that's pretty straightforward now because we've created our layer blend. Um, so we can just add in more materials in there and paint those on. So let's do that now. I will go to um, Quixel Bridge. So if you go into here, Quixel Bridge, and you can just find another material that you want to use. Uh, if you go, if I go to my sort of local section, I've got this Thai rocky beach. So if you search for that, you can um, select it, select medium quality, uh, download it if it isn't downloaded already, and then add it to your project. So it's now added this Thai rocky beach texture. Close down the browser and the bridge and go to your material. And what we're going to do is we're going to add another um, material in here and we're going to add another layer blend so we can paint this other material on here. So the way to do that is bring up your content browser, go to Mega Scans Surfaces, Thai Rocky Beach, select the three textures and drag them in and just org organize them. And we'll do a make material attributes node. Plug in from the um, color, plug in the RGB. From the um, ambient occlusion roughness displacement map, plug in the green channel to roughness. And from the normal map, plug in the RGB to normal. And we'll just set a specular value. I think I select, I think I set it to about 0 0.2 on my regular landscape. So hit one on the keyboard, left click to create a scalar value, set it to 0.2 and plug that into the specular. So this is our material. Let's just put a comment around it. Thai Rocky Beach. And we need to, at the moment, it's tiled across the whole landscape. What I'll do is I'll use the same tiling that I've used for the sand. So if you bring the tiling node up here, up a bit, it's a bit difficult to see, but there's a result node here, which is the tiling output, tiling frequency. Drag that out from here and plug it into these UVs to get the same tiling. Okay, so pull out three times. So we've got it onto the UVs. So that's our input UVs. And then this output we want to put into the layer blend. So go to our layer blend, add another layer, which we're going to call desert rock. Leave it as weight blend, because what we're going to do is we're going to weight blend between these two layers. So if we, if we paint sort of a half and half on here, we'll get half desert sand, half rock. If we just do all rock, then the desert sand will disappear. And what we need to do is take the output from this material and pl plug it into the layer. Now, the, the reason why we did this first before we did this is because we want our sand to blow over all of the materials that have been created before. If you wanted it, if, the, if you wanted the sand to only blow over the um, desert sand layer, you would put this mask before the input to desert sand. But uh, if you if you do it this way, it won't appear to abruptly stop where the rock starts. So save, and you you might have another problem here. Let's let's see. We'll go to our uh, desert. Uh, go into landscape mode. And you can see here that that new layer hasn't appeared. Um, and this is just a quirk, I think, of um, uh, Unreal. Uh, all we need to do is reload the level and that should appear. So let's um, come out of here. Just do a save. If you haven't done so already, you get a few artifacts while it reloads. And go to your... Um, 
content browser, your maps, and just reload the level. Should reload pretty quickly. Okay, again, just rebuild. And now, hopefully, if you go into landscape mode, there you see the desert rock appears here. So I'm going to actually put the desert rock second in my um, in my list. Uh, we haven't got a, a layer assigned for this, a texture assigned for this yet. So we need to do create layer info, weight blended layer. I'm going to put it in the default value or the default uh, location rather. And what we can do now is let's move up a bit. We could paint this new material. So if we let's paint it over here first where there's no wind, uh, sorry, no sand blowing. So let's um, reduce the brush size a bit and then just paint here. Oh, make sure you've got the, I've just painted, can you see I've just painted blowing sand on there because I had the blowing sand layer. So I'm going to use shift and just delete that from there. Right, so select the dead right layer, desert rock, and let's paint on here. So it'll start off going a bit checkerboard and then you'll see I've got some rock there. And obviously it's not very well blended in, but um, you know you could change the tint and the color of that to blend in better. Um, so that's our material blend of two materials without wind. Let's go over to this dune over here. And now where the wind is, let's just paint in some rock here. And can you see how the uh, blowing sand effect is actually going over the rock as well as the sand because we've done the blend after combining those two materials. And if I go out of landscape mode, go into play mode, you'll see I've got a bit of my rock over here. No, no sand blowing. Come over here. And there's my carpet of sand blowing and it's blowing over the other material as well, which is exactly the effect I wanted. So I hope you found today's tutorial useful. Uh, stay subscribed. I've got a lot of videos coming up in the next few weeks. So I will see you then. Bye for now.